All right, Byron, we're out here on some private property you've secured. And uh, well, it's near the Battle of uh, Kessler's Cross Lanes. So a lot of troops went through this area. Now, we found some bullets today. Found a lot of shotgun shells, a lot of junk. I think I've made my record on my shotgun shells for today. I think I did, too. I think I got 157. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah. At, at least 50, I would yeah. say. You know, I, I, I could be off by one or two. But anyways, but you found some cool stuff there. Well, I've got a piece of lead. I bet money that one's Civil War related. Oh, God, yeah. That one we'll have to clean up. It uh, is a small one. It could be a pistol uh -huh. bullet. And there's a real interesting little piece that may be a piece of gold. I'm not sure. That's the way it come out of the ground. Uh -huh. And most anything else, if it was brass, it look, ought to look green. Yeah, yeah, it would but, look green uh, if it's brass come out of there nice and shiny. But uh, I'm thinking it might be a little piece of gold. That would be nice. But I, uh, I hope that it is. Yeah, yeah, because you can't find this stuff sitting on the couch. No, where's Corbett at? Is he around? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know where he's at today. <laughs> we like probably to give him a hard couch. time. He's probably on the couch right now. Not, he's got to get his car fixed. And and we got Carlos out here somewhere. He's out here looking around. These woods are thick today, but it's not as hot as it was last week. Oh, no, no. Last week was too warm. Oh, my goodness. I drank plenty of water, and thought I, or I thought I drank plenty, and still huh. almost got down last weekend. So what what do you know about this little battle out here? Well, there, there was the Battle of the Knives and Forks at Zor Baptist Church, and that uh, there was Union soldiers at the church, mm -hmm. and the Confederates were, they had a, a, a defensive area out of Carnifax Ferry, mm -hmm. and this area that where we're at is where the records say that they bivouacked the night before that attack at Zor mm -hmm. Baptist Church, and I believe that was August the 25th, 1861, and from mm -hmm. what I've read, they wouldn't allow the soldiers to build fires or anything, of course, the night before. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't let them, uh, and it was raining. I read one report, so here these soldiers were waiting to attack the church the next morning, standing around or sitting around in the rain. And I'm uh -huh. sure they didn't have tents, they didn't have sleeping bags. They probably left Carnifax, came to here to get closer to be ready for the battle, and only brought the bare necessities. I bet they, I bet they was had was a rough night for them. It would have been a long, miserable night. Well, we're going to get back to digging, so uh, you know I think that uh, we're doing pretty good. This potentially could have been a location where Company K of the Seventh Ohio uh, first met action, uh, because we found the bullets that I think it's safe to say there was some action that was yeah, here. Yeah. We found enough. Uh, it's not. We can't find anything on a map, so it's really cool when we find new locations that could potentially be a historical discovery. Well, the maps, are, I think, are always good for guidelines, give us general ideas mm -hmm. that, that how accurate they are or were. Right. They were as accurate as they could make them with what they had at the time. Yeah. But in the heat of battle, I'm sure that uh, some accuracy is lost. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Well, let's get back to digging, man. Yep.